Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error code that is 0x8007050. Some update files are missing or have problems. So if you are receiving this error on your Windows 11 computer and if you are unable to update your Windows 11, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, open Windows settings. And then go to system and scroll down and then click on troubleshoot click on other troubleshooters over here you can see windows update in front of windows update you can see the run option click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and after the system restart try to update your windows 11 once again but still you are unable to update your windows 11 then restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic make sure startup type is set to automatic and then click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now with windows update selected click on restart make a right click and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click once again and then click on restart now once this is done now you can try to update your windows 11 now still you are unable to update your windows 11 then the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant so click on download now so click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and over here you can see accept and install so click on accept and install and let the download complete and once this is done you can restart your computer and your windows 11 should be up to date now the next step is to use microsoft update catalog for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here write down the name of the update which you are unable to download which you are unable to install so i will just uh, this is just an example uh, in my case it's it installs successfully suppose this is the update so in your case this update name may be different so whichever update is giving you the error message write down the name of the update in my case, it's KB5030219. So it may be some different update. So write down the name of the update over here and then click on search. Now, once you click on search, uh, in my case, it's x64 based system. So you can check what kind of system you have. You can go to system in Windows settings and then go to about. And over here, you can see 64 bit operating system. So I have x64 based system. So I would, this is the right one for me. So click on download and then click on this blue hyperlink and let the download complete now once the download is complete you have to click on this file run this file and update this update manually and then restart your computer this update should be installed successfully on your windows 11 computer now still your windows 11 is not updating in that case reset windows update components for this copy these command these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then open notepad in the computer so type in notepad in windows search box and then paste all the commands in notepad and then go to file and then click on save as and you can set the location as desktop and you can na name this file as wufix.bat so over here type in wufix.bat and for save as type select all files and then click on save now once this is done go to desktop 
over here you can see w u fix file make a right click on w u fix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now this will open command prompt first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now the scan will take some time there are couple of scans so the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services once that is done once the process is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to update your windows 11 once again now the next step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 11 for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow Now click on accept. Now click on next. And over here select ISO file. And then click on next. Now you can set, save it to desktop. Now click on save. And let the download complete. Now once done click on finish and then go to desktop over here you can see windows make a double click and open this. Now over here you can see this setup file so run this setup file click on yes to allow Now click on next. Now click on accept. And over here, it will again uh, check for updates. It will get some update. Let the process complete. Now over here, you can see the option which says ready to install, install Windows 11. And here you can see keep personal files and app. Make sure this is checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Now click on install to update your Windows 11 using Media Creation 2. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error and you should be able to update your Windows 11 successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.